G'day and welcome to MW Laser. In this video we're going to look at the Ultimate Air Assist Kit from Cloudray Laser and uh, wiring and configuring it with the Trosend 708S controller. Now I also use this Ultimate Air Assist Kit on the uh, Chinese red and black laser and I've done a video previously on how to connect that to the Rowita controller. But the connections for the Trosen controller are different and there's a few configuration settings you need to change on the controller itself. So in this video I'll show you how to go about doing that. So if we have a look on the screen here, we can see the components of the Ultimate Air Assist Kit. We have the pneumatic solenoid, some connectors for the pneumatic solenoid, a little bit of air pipe, a relay switch, some diodes, a manual switch, as well as an air tap. Now the first thing that we're going to set up is the pneumatic solenoid. And what we eventually want it to look like is this. So to do that, we are going to grab the solenoid and you'll notice that it comes in a different configuration than what is shown here. So if we loosen this little cap on the top here, we don't have to pull it all the way off, but just enough to lift and turn it 90 degrees and then tighten it back down again. So now we have A, R and P marked on the bottom there and uh, we're going to start with A. So on the A we're going to have the small hose or air connector that goes on that side. On the front we'll have the flow restrictor which is the one that's got the little um, tap there on the front. And then the last piece to go to this at the moment will be on the P which is the T piece. We've got the T piece, the flow restrictor on the front if you want to call that the front and on the other side we have the inlet valve inlet piece. So now we just connect up the air hose to these two sides here. So now it is the way that it should be configured. So if we take this uh, component off the uh, pneumatic solenoid I'll show you how to wire it up. So this one has been wired up so we just uh, carefully remove that screw and then in there there's a little clip which we can push down carefully with a small screwdriver which will release the uh, electrical components in the solenoid. So if we have a look closely at this electrical component here, we have a uh, negative and a positive, and we have a diode installed between those two. There's a line on the diode which goes closest to the positive connection. So here we have our relay with our um, mains power coming in over here to this uh, connection labeled number nine, and uh, number five, is uh, the power or the neutral connection that goes through to our power socket for the uh, air fan and the air pump. And then if we have a look closely down the back here, we have a red tab on the bottom. And those uh, connections are labeled 13 and 14. And number 13 is uh, the ground connection, which is the black. And the yellow one is the labeled number 14, which is our positive. And in between those, we have a diode. Again, the diode is connected with the uh, line closest to the positive connection. So I'm going to show you where they're installed on the machine. So up here I have the pneumatic solenoid valve with all the connectors attached to that and we also have the relay switch. So also included in the Ultimate Air Assist air kit is the uh, switch which is for the air to be on auto or manual. So when it's on auto, when the controller tells it to be air on or off, the relay will turn on, the pneumatic solenoid will control the air. If you want manual air control, you can switch it down to manual and if I do that now, you'll hear the air pump and the exhaust fan will automatically go on. So this is overriding the controller. And then on the nozzle itself, we have the air tap that's uh, connected on the air line. So let's have a look at how we uh, wire this up and configure it on the controller. So if we have a look at the wiring diagram that's available on Cloudray Laser's website, this one is uh, designed for the Ruida RDC644X controller. And we'll see that the connections A1 and A2 are on the relay switch over here. So this uh, relay switch controls the mains power for the air pump and the exhaust fan if you have it plugged in. So this A1 connection here is uh, a number 13 on uh, labeled on the relay itself. 
and A2 is labeled 14. And in between those two, we install a uh, diode here. Also on the relay, we have the mains power side and that is labeled uh, on this diagram as 14. On the relay switch that comes with the Ultimate Air Assist Kit, number 14 is labelled 5 and number 11 is labelled 9. So that uh, runs through to your mains power. We also have over here the pneumatic solenoid and that pneumatic solenoid has a positive and a negative connection. So the positive uh, being uh, labelled and the negative and in between those two we also install a diode which is included in the kit. Uh, one of the other similarities between this diagram is the air tap on the nozzle and that is installed in this location here. So we have a look here at the uh, wiring for the Trosen controller. We're using the output connections here and we have uh, the ground and then we have outputs numbers one to four. So we're going to be using air while it's working rather than air while it's uh, the lasers only on. So this is just a simple diagram to show the wiring of the Ultimate Air Assist on the Trosen controller. Now the main power supply comes in through the relay here. We've got uh, pin 9 through to pin 5 and that then gets connected to the neutral connection on the power outlet that you have for your air and fan. On the bottom of the relay we have a red tab and near that red tab we have uh, outlets number 13 and 14 and uh, 14 being the positive that gets connected to the out connector number 1 which is pin 2 on this out connection and the negative connection gets connected to the ground pin number 1. In between those two pins on the relay itself we have the diode and um, we also have a diode in the pneumatic solenoid and the negative connection from that solenoid gets connected again to ground the positive through to out number four or pin number five now the manual and auto override switch gets connected to the dc 24 volts on this uh, outlet here which is labeled in dc 24 volts and the other connection gets connected to out one or pin number two on the out connection for the uh, air so to enable the Ultimate Air Assist to come on and off with the Trosen 708S controller, we need to configure the controller by going into the menu, going down to Common Parameter Settings, which is number 7, press Enter, and the Common Work Parameters, which is number 2, and press Enter. And we'll see down the bottom here we have the blow open delay and the blow close delay in seconds and these are by default are set on zero. So what we need to do is change them to 0.1 of a second. So using the Z up and Z down buttons we can adjust that to one and we'll go down to the other one and also adjust it to 0.1 and press enter to save. So if we go back in and have a look, we now have these set at 0.1. So that will be 0.1 of a second after it gets the signal, the air will come on or off. So using LaserCAD version 8, uh, this software comes with the Trosen controllers. You can download an upgraded uh, edition from their website. But uh, the blue layer here I have is the engraving layer and the red layer is our cutting layer. So engraving generally I have the air assist off. So if we go over to our layers we see where it says if air switch open we leave that unticked so that it's off. While we're on our red layer we have the if air switch open ticked so that the air will be on while it's cutting. If we have a look at light burn we have the same uh, thing here where blue layer is engraving, red layer is cutting. And we look at the layers here and we have the option for air assist on or air assist off. So we can have a look at that for both of them. We have our cutting layer here, which the air assist is on for. So engraving without and cutting with the air assist. So that's how to install the Ultimate Air Assist on the uh, machine and uh, configure it with the Trosen 708S controller. I use this uh, ply plastic quite a lot for my work and uh, we engrave with the air off so that the, uh, the residue doesn't stick to the workpiece. When we're cutting obviously we get a little bit of residue around the edge which is easy to wipe off with a damp cloth. 
Uh, I find the Ultimate Air Assist really good when we're using ply boards or MDF that's got glue and the, all the smoke rather than the air blowing it back down and sticking it to the timber. Uh, the air and smoke, uh, the smoke is uh, taken away by the exhaust fan and full air is on for cutting to avoid the flare ups and the flame. So thanks for visiting MW Laser. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and hit the notification bell and the subscribe button to be notified when I release new videos, either for the DIY build or I've got some new upgrades happening on the uh, red and black Chinese laser, so they'll be coming soon. And until next time, take care. Cheers.